Hi guys, this is Eva from Bay Harbor Med Spa and uh, some of you ask me after watching my videos why is it that I do not recommend waxing uh, hair from the face or from the body or from the bikini? Why am I so adamant uh, against it? So I will explain it to you. I am particularly against it on people who suffer from a lot of facial hair or who have very strong hair, which in many cases, if you take black women that have a hormonal imbalance or heredity and they have like very heavy beard uh, on the face and they do wax the skin, you actually are doing several things. You are hurting your skin because you are pulling the hair, you're pulling the skin. When you do that, you are actually stimulating more hair growth. And you will say, how? Well, I'll tell you how. Every human hair under the skin, so if this is your hair, this is a blood vessel. Every human hair here is connected here with a blood vessel. When you wax the hair, you pull it, you are yanking it. When you yank it from its follicle, from its root, there's a vibration, there's a movement. When you vibrate, more blood can go into the follicle, which more blood goes into the follicle through the vibration. When that happens, the blood that carries not only food, but carries hormones as well, carries more blood, more hormones, more testosterone hormones, which create these heavy beard growth into the follicle. And you are actually stimulating more hair follicles to grow, more hair follicles to be uh, become active, and you are creating stronger, thicker hair. So waxing for particularly women that have a heavy beard, that have, uh, uh, that have, a imbalance of hormones is definitely not recommended. That's one. Second, why do I say black women shouldn't use it? Because black skin to start with is much more sensitive than white skin. So when you wax it, you are also, and a lot of people are really not very careful. A lot of people really don't know how to do it properly. And when you are waxing, the many times they pull the skin, they remove parts of the skin, and that irritates the skin, uh, there is some damage to the skin, and more melanin is pushed to protect the skin into the area, which means more melanin equals more discoloration. So my answer would be categorically, any woman, particularly women that have hormonal imbalance, that have a lot of facial hair, uh, should not wax. The only method that you have to use to get rid of the hair is laser hair removal. And guys, I know it's expensive, but life is expensive too. And what is it, uh, what is it worth to you as a human being to get rid of the hair permanently, do it for a year, year and a half, borrow the money, no matter what, save up for it, do whatever you have to do to get rid of it so that it gives you back your self-confidence so that instead of walking like this with your hair in your face so nobody should see, you can walk like this, you know, put your hair back, walk free because you don't have to be ashamed, you don't have to be worried that everybody that is looking at you is looking at your chin, is looking at your neck. So so I am saying that I understand that it is costly, I understand it's expensive for some people, but girls, everything in life is expensive and it's about preferences. So for me, if I suffered from, uh, from excessive hair growth, it would be very important to me because the first thing that anybody sees is my face. Uh, people don't necessarily look at my shoes, not necessarily look at my handbag, not necessarily look at the diamonds that I have on my hands. Uh, so I rather don't buy designer handbags or designer shoes or designer clothes, and I rather put the money toward something that it will improve me externally, will improve me internally and give me self-confidence. So I would do that. So I am answering you both questions. One, definitely don't wax. And second, find a way. Somehow, you know, where there's an old saying, where there is a will, there is a way. And my mother always taught me when a woman wants something 
a woman, if you really want something, you will get what you want. You will find a way to make it happen. So I'm telling all of you out there, girls, if you have this problem, excessive hair growth on your face, you are black, you are dark, please don't wax. Find a way to find somebody who will do laser hair removal and you can only use the cool glide laser hair because that's for dark black skin. Um, and uh, do that and you will become much happier campo and lay away the waxing. Same thing for, uh, for underarms. I wouldn't wax my underarms nor would I wax my bikini if I am dark because what happens in your bikini as a black woman you wax many times because black hair is coarse and curly it curls up and then it creates also abscesses uh, on on the bikini and that in itself is painful and that in itself creates discoloration so all in all we don't want to wax the only way we want to get rid of unwanted hair is with laser hair removal. So I gave you the reasons why I am against waxing and what does waxing do for uh, people that have darker pigmented skin and black people. Okay, so thank you guys. Bye bye, Eva.